Okay, so last package that I'm gonna open is um, I already know what what's inside. Um, it's the the book of uh, Om Ed Leademia. Um, he made the role model book, the 70 success stories of Moluccan people in the Netherlands. Uh, I think you might have seen it on my Instagram. I posted some pictures and stories about it. Um, so I'm pretty excited to finally see the end result and I'm inside of the book as well because I did the photo shoot um, last year in the summer uh, because Om Ed, he asked me to be part of the project which was a big honor for me that, um, you know, he uh, wants to use my story also to, um, to put it in the book and to, to uh, hopefully inspire other people. So that was a big honor. Um, he also ha has a virtual exhibition um, on online uh, where he also chose my picture to be on the wall and that people can see it. So it's such an exciting uh, project and I can't wait to like open open the book and or open the package and see all these stories and uh, the successes and striving of our people to, to, to do good, to do well and I really believe that this project will inspire uh, a lot of people. So let's open it. Wow! Ooh. Oh wow! Exciting! There's a card with it, with all the people on. Uh, thank you and a lot of reading fun. So nice. Okay. Oh, so the book is quite heavy actually, and I don't know if you can, oh, you see the reflection of the TV, let's see if you can see me, if I do it like this, I, oh, don't mind my laundry, uh, yeah, uh, you can see me here, oh, so exciting. Okay, let me put it down again. Okay, so Om Ed like, uh, made this book as um, an inspiration source for Moluccan people, also other people of course, but especially for the Moluccan community. Um, and as a, uh, how do you say that? Homage, honor to the first generation uh, Moluccan people in the Netherlands. Uh, so that's my grandparents because they came from the Molokan Islands to uh, the Netherlands. Um, and this year in 2021, it's been 70 years that uh, our people uh, are in the Netherlands. So that's why he chose uh, 70 Molokan success stories to tell. And I'm so excited for this book because I feel like it's gonna be um, such an inspiration of, and and it shows the oh how do you translate that veerkracht the resilience the resilience of our people because to be honest our people especially the first generation had to deal with a lot of a lot of uh, stuff a lot of trauma um, with everything that they've been through um, fighting for the Dutch flag and um, coming to the Netherlands for a temporary stay uh, six of six months. Could you imagine? Six months and then you think you're gonna go home, which eventually never happens. Because um, today it's 70 years, it's all, more than 70 years already that, um, that, yeah, that our people came to the Netherlands and never went back. Um, on Instagram, on, on my social media, I talk a lot about being Moluccan and uh, I talk a lot about my roots and, and that's because obviously I'm very proud to be Moluccan, I'm proud of where I come from, but also because our story, the story of our people hasn't been told uh, many times. No, not a lot of people know 
where the Molokan Islands are, um, who are Molokan people, why are Molokan people in the Netherlands? Even even Dutch people don't know. Like uh, a lot of Dutch friends that I have, even or like classmates or whoever, they they think that first of all they think we're Indonesian, which is not the case. Um, second of all, they sometimes think that we came to the Netherlands because we are refu refugees or we were looking for work or um, all these other reasons other than what actually happened. They, when they were welcomed in the Netherlands they were put in camps, in former concentration camps um, because yeah, they weren't supposed to um, you know, collide with the society in the Netherlands because it, it, it was a temporary stay, right? Um, so that's why I think it's a really big honor to be covered in this book as well. Um, and I just hope that my story will um, help inspire the younger generation. Um, and, and, and not only Molokan people, but also other people, obviously. It's, it's sad that the, the book is not in English, it's in Dutch, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna open open the book very carefully. But I think um, now with 70 years Molokan people in the Netherlands, it, it gives us uh, a momentum again. And I feel like the generation, uh, the younger generation, so the third, fourth, and we already have fifth generation Molokans, um, they have a different mindset. Uh, you know, we know that our future is in the Netherlands, and um, so now the talents that we have, we we use and we we um, try to uh, yeah to to make it. You know, to make it further because, and I'm not saying that uh, former generations didn't do that, but in a, in a different way because their mindset was still focused on we're going back, right? So, and also because being humble is a very big thing in our uh, culture and communities so they wouldn't like showcase their talents and the stuff that they can do um, but now the third and the younger generations they they do and we have the possibilities to stand up and um, grow and um, yeah, do the, the do the things that we can do with our talents, and to make a difference for our people. Um, because <clears throat> the uncle that uh, made this book, he's of the second generation, and he told uh, me that yeah, when they were growing up, uh, they didn't have any role models to look up to, other than just a couple in the music industry and uh, in sports. Uh, but it wasn't that much, and um, that's why he came to this idea of capturing a lot of these success stories uh, for the new generations. And it's such a, I don't know, it's so beautiful to see that our people are striving and doing well, and especially if you consider the fact where we came from, you know, our grandparents came to the Netherlands with nothing and had to endure a lot of uh, trauma and um, hardships and just to see now so many uh, years later that our people are doing well and that we are still standing and fighting you know um, for our people to rise and we f I think we feel that right now is our time you know to show ourselves to the world and to um, tell our story, because, uh, yeah, for us as a community to, to see that a lot of people in the Netherlands still don't know about the history, because um, it is part of the Dutch history, and the fact that it isn't uh, taught or shown in the history classes, that almost, you know, gives a feeling of, well, that history, you know, not that important or it didn't happen because it was quite you know it wasn't really nice and good how everything went right so it feels like they want to shove it under the rug um, but we know that times are changing now and this book is also part of that change 
and I'm very happy and honored to be in the book and yeah to try to make a change with my story and uh, my experiences mm. excited I want to open it wow the quality of the photos is also very good wow okay I'm gonna try to find my picture <laughs> yes, I found it. So it starts with the picture of the person and the name. <clears throat> and then we have my story and a quote. So my quote was dream, believe, achieve. Oh, this is so nice. And I already saw a couple of other people that I also know. I'm so excited to read the whole book. Wow. I mean, and I'm very proud of Om Ed because we need people like this to stand up and to, you know, record our stories and to make sure that we are, yeah, doing everything that we can to make our community rise up you know I think Molokum people are so talented um, we have such a rich cultural as well and um, yeah it would just be amazing for other people to get to know us and um, whether that is in dancing in singing in, in sports or cooking I mean our food acting in, in all these different things oh it's just amazing I'm very excited for 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 us to, to strive and to finally be heard you know so that was it for the unboxing video thank you for watching um, make sure to follow all the people on Instagram like Omed for the pictures and Molokan Society don't forget FZ Forza as well and um, I'll see you in the next video I'm gonna enjoy my birthday now apparently people have planned something like a small adventure so I need to be ready at 2 o'clock no idea what we're doing uh, I only know that I need to bring a jacket coat and some uh, plates and the cutlery maybe we're gonna picnic or something I don't know I'm just excited and I I'm pretty sure that I know who it is Josefina and Martina could be wrong but I don't think so but I'm excited so thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye okay Jangan malu-malu, mari tatap muka, dansa sedikit, gosok-gosok kaki ke kanan Yang cuma tinggal berdiri, karena sementara malam habis, semua belum dansa, belum goyang Terima kasih, bisa tidur